to the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Tuesday, September 24th, 2013. Here were today's pricing games. Cliffhangers, Pushover, One Away, Pick a Pair, Pocket Change, and Most Expensive. The first contestant was Brittany, who was celebrating her 25th birthday on the tape date of today's airing. She bid $778 on a 32 gig 5th generation iPod Touch and a pair of iWave Ultrasone DJ1 headphones brought out by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds and the delightful Danielle Dembski. The actual retail price, $2,299. She played cliffhangers for a chance to win a trip to B.J. Mason Television's country of Canada. It's a trip for two. Round trip coach from Los Angeles to Vancouver. It includes a six night stay in a Harbor View room at the Western Bayshore, Vancouver. Plus a visit to the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park, modeled by Danielle. A prize worth $7,720. Rachel was over by the three small prizes, and they were a two quart stainless steel tea kettle, a Cuisinart compact coffee maker, and a 72 ounce Mave filtration pitcher. First for the tea kettle, Brittany believed that it was $45. Was that tea kettle $45? No, it wasn't. Folks, I have a bad feeling Hans the Mountain Climber has a very long climb ahead of him. Here goes the Mountain Climber. Three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What do you think happened next? Well, here's the answer. That's right, folks. Hans went over that cliff. The price of that stainless steel tea kettle was $19. Brittany missed it by $26. $1 too many for the mountain climber. Brittany says that she blames her mom for giving her the price of $45. Well, Brittany, I hate to tell you, but your mom was not the one playing the pricing game. It was you, so the blame has to go to you, unfortunately. Sorry. The second contestant was Jennifer from Kentucky, who was wearing her Lucky Rabbit shirt. She bid $500 on a nine-piece Chantal German-engineered Popper Fusion cookware set modeled by Danielle. Actual retail price, $700. She played pushover for a chance to win a three-piece stainless steel kitchen that has a self-cleaning range with baking drawer, a French door refrigerator, and a built-in dishwasher with smart dispense technology. Model by Rachel. The starting push, push price for Jennifer was $9,702. Jennifer pushed a second time, making the price $1,970. Jennifer decided to push a third time, making the price $7,197. It seemed as if Jennifer was going to stop at that price, but she kept on pushing a fourth time, making the price $3,719. 
And then she decided to push a fifth time, making the price $5,371, and this is where she stopped pushing. So, she pushed a total of five times with four blocks going over. Once again, she believed the price of the three-piece stainless steel kitchen was $5,371. I have to say, I was very worried of Jennifer going at, going past 7197 Well, let's find out if she was right or not. When Drew revealed the actual retail price of the three-piece stainless steel kitchen, it was... Seven thousand one ninety seven. Jennifer had it. Oh my goodness. The audience led Jennifer astray. Oh my gosh. Bummer. The third contestant was Christopher, who works in the restaurant industry and is from Chicago, Illinois, home city of former Price is Right contestant Keith C. Johnson. He bid $601 on a recumbent exercise bike modeled by Rachel. Actual retail price, $699. He played one away for a chance to win a Chevrolet Cruze LS modeled by Danielle. The wrong price was $28,736. Choosing between the one or the three, Christopher chose one for the first number. Choosing between seven and nine, Christopher chose seven for the second number. Choosing between eight or six, Christopher chose eight for the third number. Choosing between two and four, Christopher chose two for the fourth number, and choosing between five and seven for the last number, Christopher went with five. So he put a price of $17,825. Oh, my sound effects lady, did Christopher have at least one number right? Yes, Christopher did have at least one number right. Oh, my sound effects lady, did Christopher have at least two numbers right? Christopher had at least two numbers right. Oh, my sound effects lady, did Christopher have at least three numbers right? Yes, Christopher had at least three numbers right. Oh, my sound effects lady, did Christopher have at least four numbers right? No, he had three numbers right, which meant he had to change two numbers. The two numbers he changed were the seven, making that a nine, and the eight, making that a six. So he put a price of $19,625. Let's see if he won the car. Was the first number a one? Yes, it was. Now, was he right to change the second number from before, it was a 7, but now he made it a 9. Was 9 the second number? Yes, it was. Now, if the third number was a 6, Christopher would win the car. Was the third number a 6? When it was revealed, it turned out to be... And A! The last two numbers were 2 and 7. The actual retail price, $19,827. He was right to change the 7, but he should have changed that 5. And very interesting that they used this sound effect for the loss today.
Very, uh, very interesting they used that, but I decided to go with what they originally used for the loss. The fourth contestant was Jill from Hastings, Nebraska, who bid $1,700 on a smooth leather armchair with matching ottoman plus a tablet modeled by Rachel. Actual retail price, $2,544. She played pick a pair for a chance to win 12 gallons of regular unleaded gas once a week for a year, maid service once a month for a year, and 52 weeks worth of groceries. Modeled by Danielle, a prize package worth $7,500. Here were the six grocery products. Gold Bond Ultimate Diabetic Skin Relief Foot Cream, Francesco Rinaldi Traditional Pasta Sauce, a 12 fluid ounce bottle of ivory body wash, downy fabric softener, Libman Freedom multi-surface floor cleaner, and a 20 ounce canister of sun-made raisins. Jill first selected the body wash. The price of it was $2.29. She paired that up with the pasta sauce. And the price of the pasta sauce from Francesco Rinaldi was two twenty nine. Jill is a winner. So to be honest with you, I was feeling a little doubtful on that pasta sauce being two twenty nine. But Jill proved me wrong, and she won. Nicely done. The fifth contestant was Christopher and another Christopher today. He is from Ogden, Utah and works as a mechanic for the Department of Justice. He bid one dollar for a 14 karat gold and sterling silver pair of De Valencia rhodium earrings modeled by Danielle. Brought down to contestants row. Actual retail price $1,572. Christopher used the adage, one dollar always wins. He played pocket change for a chance to win a Scion XB, modeled by Rachel. He was given 25 cents to start off the game, and the first number in the price of the car was two. Now, choosing between the numbers 1, 5, 0, 8, and 7, for the second number, Christopher chose 0. Was he right? Yes, he was! He got another envelope. He got his first envelope. For the third number, he went with 5. Was 5 the third number? No, it wasn't. Rachel rose the price of the car to 50 cents. Next, he selected seven for the third number. Was he right this time? No, he wasn't. The price of the car is now 75 cents. Next, Christopher chose eight. Was eight the third number? No, the price of the car is now one dollar. The last number remaining was one and Eventually, Christopher said one, and that was right. So he got an envelope. Now for the fourth number, he chose five. Was five the fourth number? No, it wasn't. The price of the car is now $1.25. He selected eight next, and was eight the fourth number? It was. So he got another envelope. And... Between the five and the seven remaining, Christopher believed the last number of the price of the sign XB was seven. Was seven the last number? It was. So, the price of the sign XB is $20,187. So, the price of that car went up 25 cents four times for a dollar twenty-five total. Christopher needs a dollar to win this car, to go along with that quarter. In his first, first off, 25 cents, 
And for the first envelope, inside was 25 cents. It's now up to 50 cents. Inside the second envelope, we found 10 cents. He is now up to 60 cents. For the third envelope, inside it was Five cents. Currently, CRISPR has 65 cents total. In order for CRISPR to win the car, the last envelope had to have 75 cents or two dollars. And when Drew opened up the last envelope, inside there was... Well, can you believe this? Zero cents! Ah! Not enough for the car! What a shame! The sixth and final contestant was Kel from Florida, who bid $630 on a Nintendo Wii U game package modeled by Rachel. The actual retail price? $630! Carol got herself a $500 bonus! <laughs> she played most expensive for a chance to win these three prizes. A 70-inch sharp LED 3D HD TV that has Quattron color technology, a 1080p display and auto brightness control with two pairs of Bluetooth glasses included, modeled by Rachel. A Golden West Billiards pool table with accessory package included, modeled by the goofy George Gray. And a Michael Kors accessory selection that includes a gold metallic leather satchel, a tortoise pair of ladies aviator sunglasses, and a faux leather wallet with gold tone hardware, modeled by Danielle. Carol believed, number one, the HDTV was the most expensive. Let's see if she won all three prizes. First, George revealed the price of the pool table. Number two, that was $2,400. Now over to number three, the Michael Kors Accessories by Danielle. She revealed the price to be $1,198. So if Number one, the HCTV was more than $2,400. Carol would win all three prizes. And I have to say I had a very good feeling on this. When Rachel revealed the price of the HCTV from Sharp, it was... $3,000! Carol wins all three prizes, totaling $7,098. Nice win. Now it's time for the acknowledgement. Here's what BJ Mason Television has to say. The last time Yodely Guy went off the cliff after the first prize was on March 20th, 2012. This is no way to start off a season considering Cliffhangers was won a record-breaking 29 times last season. Well, hopefully, the number 29 will not be the number of losses for this game this season. But, we'll just have to keep watching on. We had two pricing games won on today's show. They were Pick a Pair and Most Expensive. Plus, $500 won by Fell for her perfect bid. The MVPs of the Price is Right are Jill and Carol for their pricing in wins, and contestant recognition goes to Rich for winning her showcase. It included the Price is Right's own version of Rock, Paper, Scissors. First, we had an LG Blu-ray home theater system that has its own receiver, has a 9.1 channel emergent sound and Wi-Fi, modeled by Rachel. That was the rock part. 
for the paper involves where money is made. Washington, D.C. The United States is capital. It is a trip for two to Washington, D.C. that Brittany won. Round trip coach from L.A. Six nights stay in a deluxe suite at the Beacon Hotel and Corporate Court. Also modeled by Rachel. And for the scissors, it's, let's say, cutting the ribbon to go into your West White Father 19-foot sailboat that sleeps four, has a select package including a cockpit storage compartment, 15-gallon crush water system, open ports, built-in cooler and stove with trailer included, modeled by Danielle. I wish she had worn a bikini, but there's always next time. Brittany bid $22,250. Actual retail price, $26,654. For a difference of $4,404. Brittany won herself a grand total of $28,000. $953 in prizes. Well, great way to celebrate his 25th birthday, I must say. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap this week is provided by the movie 42, The Jackie Robinson Story, starring Chadwick Boseman as Jackie Robinson and Harrison Ford as Branch Rickey. So, pocket change was one of the pricing games played today, and that was for Martin S. 1989. But since he had a personal matter to issue, he will have the very next playing of that pricing game. Speaking of Martin S. 1989, if any of his other games that he wants to recap gets played tomorrow, he'll have the recap. If games for Neil Rock 87, J. Van Diesel, or Sports Guy 528 shows up, they'll have the recap. That's going to do it for me for tonight. I am Mr. Morgan, reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everyone.